Hello everyone! Welcome back to Canada International Student Magazine. My name is Jennifer Rogg and today we are here with Trevor G, who is the Program Manager of the International Education at New Westminster Secondary School. Thank you very much for having us today. We really appreciate you taking the time to uh, take an interview with us. Thank you very much, Jennifer. It's my pleasure to introduce our wonderful school to your viewers today. Uh, New Westminster Secondary School is British Columbia's newest, most modern, brightest high school in the province of British Columbia. We're very excited to to show you the school today as well as answer some questions about uh, what it's like to be a student at New Westminster Secondary School. Oh, I'm very happy to hear that and we're very excited to learn more about this school and get a better understanding of it. Terrific. So to start us off with this interview, could you please introduce yourself and New Westminster Secondary School? Absolutely. Thank you, Jennifer. Well, my name is Trevor G. I am the program manager of the New Westminster School District International Education Program. I'm proud to say that uh, I'm in my 20th year of working with the International Education Program here in New Westminster. Uh, I have held various roles in the International Education Program. I started out as the homestay manager here, moved to marketing, and recently I became the program manager. So I know just about everything about the, the International Education Program. Uh, I'm excited to say that uh, we have five staff members that are here to work and support students while there are students in our school and in our school district in general. So students when they come to our program they can feel well supported parents can feel at ease when they send their students to our school district great answers and you know what you said that you had a bunch of your experience here so it's always good to have uh, as much information to show to us we're just very happy to hear that there's a lot to offer in this school it sounds very detailed great. so for our second question what does an average day for a new westminster international student look like that's a good question. Uh, there are various days, uh, various schedules that students have. Some students, depending on their program, they may start school actually at 7.30 with uh, a Z block. A Z block is a before regular class uh, subject. Uh, that might be strength and conditioning. It might be band. It might be jazz band. It might be uh, IB. Uh, but generally speaking, most students will begin school at 8.35 and they have four subjects per day, four classes which are approximately 70 to 75 minutes long each. So maybe a little bit longer than what students are used to in their in their home countries. Uh, because we are a semester system school, uh, students do four classes at the beginning of the year and four more classes in the second semester of the year. Uh, lunchtime is always an exciting time here at school because students come and use the servery and sit here in the Grand Commons with their friends and enjoy having lunch and chatting with their friends. Uh, then there's two classes in the afternoon and following uh, the two classes in the afternoon students will either have a, perhaps a after-school class or they might go to sports teams or clubs or things like that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it's a, it's a busy day uh, but uh, we're happy that students are, are active and, and enjoying their school life here. The word when you said active students, you know, they're busy with a lot of elective classes and sports classes. So it's a nice balance between educational uh, classes and uh, a lot of elective classes to kind of keep that fun and uh, learning balance. Absolutely. And, and one thing I'd like to say is New Westminster Secondary School is the only high school in New Westminster. So there are quite a few students here. Uh, this school is grades 9 to grade 12 and we have over 2,000 students in this school. Now that might sound a little bit scary to have that many students here but you don't really notice it as students are circulating around their classes and the great thing about having a large student body is the variety that we can offer in electives. We can offer so many electives here that you may not be able to do in a smaller high school in the province of British Columbia. For example, you can learn how to play the guitar in our school, or you can do the robotics class, or you can do uh, jewelry making class. There's many things that you can do here, uh, whether it be uh, arts, fine arts, performing arts, different kinds of academic classes as well. 
Oh, I'd love to hear that. And you said that there were about 2,000 students, you said? That'll allow students, you know, make friends, new memories. So there's always a positive in that, too. Absolutely. We always encourage international students here through clubs, through teams, through their, through their classes, of course, uh, to make as many friends as they can because that's a great way to enjoy your time and it's also an excellent way to improve your English ability. It's a very great uh, way to answer this. <laughs> So for our next question, why is New Westminster Secondary School one of the best schools for an international student to study at? And what is it most known for? That's a good question uh, as well. You have very good questions. Uh, well, uh, this program at New Westminster Secondary School is one of the oldest, most experienced programs in Canada. Uh, this program started in 1987, making it either the oldest or the longest running international program in the country. So we have lots of experience uh, in this program. Secondly, uh, our international education staff is based here in the high school. So if students have questions, if they have problems, uh, or if they just want to chat with someone, uh, we are here on site, just minutes away uh, down the hallway. You don't have to phone, you don't have to go anywhere. Uh, we have five, sta five staff members there to support students. That is incredibly important for uh, students, especially since parents will want nothing but the best for their, for their kids. Absolutely, absolutely. And time and again, students and parents will say that they, they chose our school and we're happy that they chose our school for their son or daughter to study at because we have the support on site. Our homestay manager is on site. Our secretary is on site who knows everything about everything in the school financial manager is on site, I'm there, marketing is there. So every staff member, no matter what their title is, is a student supporter. So we're there to help students if they have a question or if they have a problem. That's a great answer. Thank you very much for that. Um, our next question, what are the admission requirements for getting into New Westminster Secondary, such as IELTS, interviews, anything like that? Our entrance standards are pretty much the same as most other school districts. Uh, we like to see, number one, good attendance, and we like to see progress in the schools that students are attending now. Uh, for example, we don't expect students to have a report card with 100% in every subject. That's just not, uh, not realistic. So we want to see students attending school, doing well, and attending regularly. Students don't necessarily have to have a very high English level because this school district and this high school has a well-developed step-by-step ESL program. Uh, sometimes called ELL now. So students can become a grade 10 student here with a beginner level of English, work their way through the graduation requirements as they improve their English and graduate after three years. Now, uh, there are some students who will complete their grade 10 year uh, in their home country and come to our program for grades 11 and 12. That's fine uh, because they can transfer some credits from their grade 10 year to, their, uh, to the program here. However, students have to be careful about their age and how many years they will require to improve their English level to be able to complete all of the graduation requirements in the school. So we always recommend it's better to start early than to start late. Uh, most students who come to our program will start with grade 10 and they will complete their grade 10, 11, 12 year here with enough time to improve their English and to do well in classes uh, enough to be able to go to post-secondary. A student coming for grade 11 and 12 must have a high enough level of English to be able to enter uh, the English 10 or English 10 language arts from their grade 11 year. Our next question, does your school offer homestay programs for its students? Absolutely. Uh, we consider our homestay program to be one of the, the, the pillars of our international education program. We've always had our own homestay program. You heard me mention before that our homestay manager is located on site here. Uh, New Westminster is a small city, so we're very fortunate that our homestay manager is able to get to know all of our homestay families face to face, and uh, we have a good relationship with our homestay families. So we're not a huge program, uh, 
So we are able to give the students the benefit of having a, a smaller program with uh, good families who are interested in hosting international students. So finally, uh, to end things off for our last question, is there any advice for future students who would like to study at the school? Well, I would say uh, do your research for the school that you want to attend. Of course, we would love to have uh, every student come and attend the international program of the New Westminster School District, but students uh, should look about what is it that they're interested in, what is it they want to do when they finish uh, their high school uh, career, as it were, and uh, I think that our school district program has just about everything that you would require to be able to go to post-secondary, whether it is for technology, for example, a BCIT kind of education, university, uh, or even for students who want to go to a local college, for example, Douglas College or Langara College and do the uh, two years there and then transfer to university. Uh, we kind of have a little bit of everything here. So again, my recommendation is do your research, uh, ask the questions that need to be asked so that you are going to the right place uh, for the right reasons. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, students will definitely consider our international education program. Absolutely. And like you said, research, very important. Mm -hmm. So whatever uh, helps a student at the end of the day, that's what's most important. Absolutely. So once again, on behalf of CISM, we really appreciate you taking the time to answer our questions today. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity to be able to speak to your viewers and hopefully uh, students and parents, if they have any questions, they're very welcome to contact our school directly uh, to myself or to FSS for more information. Fantastic, of course. And um, if you have any additional questions, you are more than welcome to contact us through our website, www.mycism.com, or you can reach us through our variety of social media pages, such as Facebook or Instagram. But remember to please like and subscribe our videos. Thank you very much, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.